Hey everybody and welcome back to my kitchen where Carla is cooking. Today's menu, we're doing a request from my sister, my sister Gina. She requested a chicken marsala and so here we go guys. Audio jungle. Chicken marsala, super duper easy, but one of those meals that plates up beautifully and tastes oh so good. All right, so I did a little shopping from Traders yesterday and picked up some all natural chicken. I have two breasts in here, but I'm only going to use one. And that's because I'm cooking for two. So you know me, I like my meals to stretch. I want my food to stretch, my ingredients to stretch, right? It's budget friendly and who doesn't want to do that? So I am going to just remove one of the breasts. You know, we're going to take the smaller guy because I'm going to use him for Sunday's meal, which you're going to have to stay tuned for that. Sunday, I'm going to cook up a awesome little tailgate for one. So I'm going to put this in the freezer. There we go. All right. Now, back to the chicken. So just so you know, too, I've got a cutting board. It says chicken on it. I know I could get all those fancy colored ones, and then I would know which one was the chicken. But I just do this. I had a few extra cutting boards, and I thought, let's make it easy. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to take this breast now. It's a nice big one. And I'm just going to uh, cut it in half. I'm going to put my hand here fingers down so I don't chop any fingertips off and just take a sharp knife and just do like this. Pretty much it's the same. Well, that's a butterfly, but when you take it apart now, there we go. Now we have two beautiful chicken pieces for our Marcella. Same method that you, we used for chicken parm. You can use for chicken piccata. That's what I love about this as well. There's a couple different things that you are going to learn, maybe, or maybe you already know. Um, but I love when you can use a method that um, you can use for other dishes as well. Just washed my hands. And now we're going to go ahead and just give a little light salt on these. There we go. Okay, those are waiting for me. Now we are going to do method number one. Method number one is flour, egg, gonna crack that guy, and breadcrumb. I always use uh, seasoned breadcrumbs because I just don't want to take the time to put all the seasonings in there that I know I'm gonna want. So um, here we go. Uh, one thing I do add is I always add a little shaker cheese. Shake, 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 shake. So I always add a little shaker cheese. That's what I call it. I call it shaker cheese. I don't know. I just, I feel like you can't ever have mo too much cheese, right? And it also adds a little saltiness too that I like. All right, so we got flour, breadcrumb, and let's crack this egg. Now, I did not crack the egg on my forehead this time. I need my buddy for that. But there we go. We've got our egg. We're gonna give this just a little bit of a, just like that. Get it all mixed in there. Okay, sweet. Now, we are also, uh, before we bread the chicken breast, let's go ahead and get this started. So you guys, I got a new pan and I'm super stoked about it. It's just an enameled iron, um, cast iron pan. And so I don't have to put the heat as high on this pan, which I love because it's really, um, it's just designed that way to really hold the heat in. Okay, so we've got our breasts. Let's go ahead and get, oh, hold it. We need to put our uh, butter in there, a little bit of olive oil, and now we're ready. Okay, so we've got breast number one. We are going to flour, flour, shake, 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 excess flour. And now we are going to egg. And now we are going to breadcrumb. And make sure it just gets all nice and evenly coated. 
and our pan is almost ready for us. I'm gonna set that guy there, and we're gonna repeat. We are going to flour. There we go. Get it all nice. Shake, 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 excess flour. Dredge it around in our egg. Flour, egg, breadcrumb, you guys. Such a simple, simple method that you can use for pork chops, uh, other chicken dishes. I've used it for chicken piccata. I do it for chicken parmesan. There we go, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and get that into our pan. Nice, I'm gonna raise the heat just a little bit on that guy. All right, beautiful. Let me get rid of this and let me wash my hands. All right, our chicken is going beautifully. I'm feeling like I might need a little more olive oil. I just kind of want to do that. And you know what else I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to hit it with a little pepper because they didn't pepper this guy up. All right. Sweet. Now, method number two we're going to use is a roux. So we used a roux when I did the brown gravy and mashed potatoes. So roux is basically, it's R-O-U-X. It is equal parts flour and a fat. The fat that I always use is butter. So when I do a roux, it's flour, butter, 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 equal parts, okay? So why do you want to do that? You want to do it because it's a thickening agent. When we're making gravy, right, we want it thick. Now, how thick, that's up to you. Uh, but before you add the cooking liquid, so this is um, a beef broth, obviously you could use beef, chicken, vegetable, whatever you like. You can use stock, you can use broth. Today I had some leftover uh, of beef broth, so we're gonna use that. But if I just poured this over the Marsala, right, we're getting broth. So it's our thickening agent. And that's where the roux comes in. Okay, you guys, so this chicken, is just about wrapping up. Here is the deal with this, look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so, so good. Now, here is the scoop. We're gonna remove the breasts from the pan. And it's okay if they're not 100% cooked through. Don't you worry. When we slide the breasts back into that Marcella sauce and gravy, it'll do the rest of the cooking. This looks, get back here, beautiful. Okay, so these are ready when we are. All right, we're just gonna set those aside, perfect. Now, we're gonna use the same pan, A. I don't mind using some of the drippings in there. Uh, a little bit of the pan drippings. I'm gonna put this on low heat. And now we're gonna do our roux. So, butter. I'm gonna do about two tablespoons. Perfect. Great. Oh, I'm loving this new pan. It actually does retain its heat very, very well. Okay, awesome. Uh, and now I'm gonna do my two tablespoons of flour, okay? And you're just sprinkling it in there. One and two. So let me show you how this looks, guys, because you kind of got to get this right. If you put the liquid in and then you go back because you decide you want the, it thicker, you're going to get a bunch of white, clumpy, flour, little flour specks in your beautiful brown gravy, and nobody wants that. We're just going to take a little whisk. We're going to whisk it in, and basically, you guys, you're just cooking the flour until it's all combined and it looks awesome. Great. Now I'm gonna do about three turns of the pan. One, two, and three. Perfect, maybe a little extra. I'm not a huge measuring cup girl if you haven't figured that out. So when I actually go to write these recipes so I can post all of these recipes, um, that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge for me because I don't pay a whole bunch of attention I just instinctively cook. All right, oh my gosh, this thickened up literally beautifully in, in minutes, you guys. Not even minutes, I think it was seconds. 
Look at this. Look at this. Do you see how that is bubbling? You guys, this is gonna be the brown gravy. Amazing. Now, we're going to slide our mushrooms in. You know what, I'm gonna give them, actually I'm not gonna give them a rough chop. I'm just gonna put them in like that because I love whole mushrooms. You know what though, I'm feeling like I need more mushrooms. I don't wanna be skimpy because I love mushrooms. So let me grab a handful of that. Let's just go to town. There we go. All right. I saved a handful for my salad. Okay, awesome. All right. Now, we have to add the, uh, the star, which is the dry Marcella, right? Because this is a chicken Marcella. That's what makes it Marcella. So, um, we're going to give this guy two turns of the pan. So, one and two with an extra splash for good luck. All right. We're going to whisk this in there. Fantastic. Whoops. A mushroom just jumped out of the pan, if you didn't catch that. All right. That is looking good, guys. Gina, you are gonna love this meal. All right. Great. Ooh, I got one really big mushroom in there. You could totally give your mushrooms a rough shot. Again, my patience isn't the greatest. So I just kind of threw them all in. And you know, when you cook with mushrooms, they do kind of um, shrivel up a bit. Wow, this looks so good. Now, I am going to sprinkle some of my parsley in there. And I'm gonna have to cut maybe a little more parsley. Oops, I don't want a stem. Get back here. No stems in my Marcella. All right, good. This is looking Fantastic. I want you to see this. Look, guys, look at that. Gorge, right? I can smell the Marcella. I can totally smell the Marcella, which is so, gonna be so, so good. All right, now we're gonna slide these right in the pan. Oh yeah, there she goes. That is looking amazing. And now, where's my little spoon? Grab a spoon and get this all smothered in here. Holy smokes. Gosh, does this look insanely delicious. And I know it's gonna taste so dang good, you guys. So now, we're just gonna let that go for, um, I don't know, a minute or two. And then we're gonna try these out, you guys. Again, no boil. I am not boiling anything. I'm gonna throw two or three noodle clusters in there. Actually, we can go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna throw one, I'm gonna throw two, and I'm gonna throw three right in there. And now I'm gonna coat these guys. I need some more, little, get them all coated in the liquid. Fantastic. I'm gonna scoot the chicken to one side. So all of my pasta gets a little bit of that, the juice. All right. You guys, look how nicely this meal is cooking up. Do you see this chicken? So, so good. And let's take a peek at these noodles. Look at this. I'm just breaking them apart. We are not boiling them. I'm simply doing that. Gonna get them all coated. All right, so we've got chicken on one side. We've got this awesome pasta on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and cheese up this gonna salt pepper. Those, that pasta, beautiful. And I'm gonna add a little extra cheese. I'm gonna add this cheese, guys. So, so good, right on top, just like that. And now, we're just gonna let that all cook in, amazing. 
Okay, you guys, it's that time. We're gonna plate this delicious meal up. I'm gonna grab the smaller chicken breast here. Ooh, that is loaded with a ton of mushrooms and that yummy Marcella. And now I'm gonna get some of the juice. So, so good. Look at that, guys. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab some of these no boil noodles. Holy smokes, you guys, how freaking good does that look? And I went ahead and I wasn't shy with the cheese. I went ahead and added some nice chunky cheese to that because that's what I like. I love a lot of cheese on my pasta. All right, wow, you guys, look at this meal. It is so delicious. The methods we used, making a roux, made a beautiful brown gravy. Um, flour, egg, breadcrumb, uh, coated our chicken just perfectly. All right, uh, I'm gonna grab a little bit of parsley here. Hold it right there, because we need our garnish. I am all about the garnish, whether it's a Bloody Mary or it is my dinner. You guys, look at this. How good does this look? Well, now we have to taste it, right? Because that's what we do. That's what I do. I cook it, I eat it. All right, let me get me a clean fork. Sweet. I'm doing it. It is hot, hot, hot. Ooh, this chicken looks really, well, obviously it's cooked, but it looks very moist too. Mmm, it is moist. So good, you guys. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I want a little more salt on this guy, so I'm gonna hit it with that. Oh my goodness. Now, these no boil noodles. So you saw what I did. I literally threw a couple of the noodle nests into the mix, into my gravy. Mmm. It's so really good. You guys, so I'm loving these noodles. These noodles were under $3. I didn't have to boil any water. They literally cooked in like five minutes and Mm. I could see these noodles doing really well in their stir fry or um, I don't know, any sauce. It just has to cook in the sauce. So, wow, this is so good. I can taste that Marcella, which it makes the dish a Marcella. The chicken is moist. I'm loving these huge chunky mushrooms. Guys, this is a winner winner chicken dinner. I'll see you guys back in my kitchen for more fun and cook.